All right, last time we were in the section 2.1, and we had gotten to the point where we were looking at a graph, right? And I th think we had gotten to this screen right here, and we had drawn those four tangent lines. Does that sound right to you guys? Excellent. All right, there's only one other portion of this particular problem that we didn't get to, and it says to list the points in order of increasing slope. So let's actually just talk through the, um, the different tangent lines that we've drawn. I've kind of got them different colors than maybe I did in class because I did these in my other class. But um, the first tangent line drawn there at point A is a purple line. Um, what can you tell me about the slope of that line? It's positive, right? That's an important feature. Um, is there another slope on here that's positive? At point D, which one is more positive? D, because how do you know? It's steeper. Okay, so that's important for us to keep in mind. Um, what about the other two? How about at B? <coughs> What's the slope? I'm sorry. It's zero, right? It's a flat line right there at point B. Um, so we have a zero slope. Uh, please don't be tempted to say the word no slope. We're going to talk about the idea of no slope in a minute. That is a zero slope. And then what about the uh, line at C, the green line? That one's negative. So if we're supposed to list these in order from um, increasing order of their I'm sorry, in order of their increasing slopes, what is the first one I would list? C, because it's negative, right? It's a negative slope. What's the next value that I would list? B, because it is a zero slope. The last two have both have a positive slope. Which one should come first? A, because at D, it is steeper. It is a more positive slope value. Is everybody good with that? Now think for a moment with me. If we had just not drawn those tangent lines, could you have still been able to list them in order of increasing slope just by looking at the picture? Maybe. So there's a question in your, in your homework that asks you to do this where it doesn't ask you to draw the tangent lines in. If you need to draw them in to be able to make the assessment, then do. If you don't, that's okay. The more you have seen this kind of a question, the less you actually need to see the visuals for the tangent lines to actually make the claim. Does that make sense? So even if it doesn't tell you to draw the lines, if you need to draw them, draw them. All right, there's, the next slide is actually something that could have gone in this section or in 2.2. We're going to come back to it in 2.2. So I went ahead and just put it into here um, because you're going to be drawing some of these tangent lines. Uh, and I want to talk to you about some locations where tangent lines don't exist. Um, there are basically three different types of do not exist um, on these. The first one's discontinuities. But under discontinuities, there's more than one type of discontinuity. So you guys know from chapter one, what kinds of discontinuities exist? What could we have? Holes. Holes. Very good. We could have a hole. What else could we have? An asymptote, right? A vertical asymptote in particular, right? Let me actually write that down. This is a vertical asymptote that causes the discontinuity. Both of those usually come about as having a zero in some denominator. Uh, there's one other discontinuity. A jump. Exactly. Very good, Grace. So there's a possibility of having a jump in a graph. Um, you either see that defined typically in terms of a piecewise function um, or drawn instead of actually given a function uh, equation. You can see it drawn some nice way. Anytime you have one of these issues, you actually do not have a tangent line. Okay? You can't have a tangent line at a whole because the whole definition of the tangent line involves the point existing. If the point doesn't exist, it can't have a tangent line. You can't have a tangent line at a vertical asymptote because then the line would be vertical. And that, that's really what's going on. And if you have a vertical line, that's actually when you have no slope. And we're supposed to be finding the slopes of these things. So that is a no slope or an undefined slope. That's why the vertical asymptotes don't work. Um, and then the jumps usually have a tangent line that are different on either side of the jump. It's a different slope if you were approximating from the left or from the right. So which one do you pick? It's kind of like with limits. If, if the limit's not the same, if it's not approaching the same value, you, you can't pick. It just doesn't exist. There's two other types of issues where tangent lines don't exist. Uh, one of them is a sharp turn. So you want to have sort of this picture in your mind. Now let's think for a moment if I took a point on the left. If I took a point over here on the left, this red point, and I put a tangent line there, what would the tangent line look like? So you drew it. Can you describe what you drew for me? It would look like a line. Specifically, what kind of line? 
a line that has a positive slope. You can hear it. What do you have for me? What do you think? It would touch more than once because what would it actually be? The same line I'm already on, right? So if you sort of put a ruler or a straight edge up against this particular red point, it would be the same line that's already there, right? Uh, and the same thing would happen on the other side, correct? So you've got a positive tangent on the left and you've got a negative tangent on the right. So the best guess, if one existed, was that the tangent line would actually look like a vertical line, or sorry, a horizontal line up here. Um, that's a problem, though, because that doesn't actually look like the slope for either side of this. It's kind of like the same issue that I was talking about with the jumps, right? This doesn't look like the slope for either side of these where the red or the green dots are. So, so this doesn't happen. We don't have a tangent line up there. So we actually have to have a curve that is continuous in order for it to have the tangent lines anywhere. And it has to be smooth, no sharp turns. The last one, I always mention it, though you rarely see it come up, is vertical tangent lines. So that actually comes into play if you had a vertical asymptote. It could also come into play if you had a function that did something like this. This point right here, if I were to draw a tangent line to it, it actually would be vertical, right? Well, that's the vertical tangent line. The problem, again, is that we're talking about slopes of these things. That's our actual concern is about slopes. And the slope of this line doesn't exist. There is a no slope sort of a description sometimes put upon that, um, or that it just really doesn't exist. Okay, so you're going to have a couple of questions that ask you to draw tangent lines. In a few of the cases, you're simply going to have to say the tangent line doesn't exist because of this feature of the graph. Does that make sense?